for a person to go from a person who is in the carnal realm. I mean, they they see things in the carnal, they live in the carnal, to go from that state to a person who is a person of faith. And they can believe God and believe God for miracles. They can pray. That That is a miraculous thing when that takes place. But the problem is, is that somebody who is living in the carnal realm, and, and a lot of times there are people who would confess to be a Christian, but, but they're not living in faith. They're not living in their spiritual realm. They're living in a world that's carnal. And when a crisis takes place in their life, they're just at a point to where they just don't know where to turn. They don't know how to deal with it. The thing is, a spiritual person understands that they live in a spiritual world and that there's spiritual activity taking place all around you. And you can enter into that realm through faith. But you see, if you allow yourself to be vacillating back and forth, I don't know whether this will really work or this will not work, then you're not going to be effective. James tells us this gospel. He said that uh, the double-minded man is unstable. He says he's unstable in all of his ways. So if you vacillate back and forth as to whether or not I believe or I don't believe, then you're not going to see the Holy Spirit move as the Holy Spirit can move. So it causes us to have to bring ourselves out of the carnal realm. And the only way we can do that is through the work of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. That's why I say it's a miracle. It's a miraculous work of God. But God can transform the heart that is distant, the heart that's in denial, the heart that's uh, caught up with uh, is there a God or is there not a God? God can transform all of that and bring a person to a place to where they're confident in their faith. And then when they, bur- they pray, they say, well, Lord, I believe who you are. And I'm trusting you because your word says this. And we talked about this on Monday. We talked about how that the scripture tells us if they're sick among you, call for the elders of the church, pray the prayer of faith. But keep in mind that you too are a spiritual person. And, and thank God for, their, for the elders and for the pastors. But God, if you're a husband, a man, you have a family, you are the priest of your family, you can pray the prayer of faith because you're a spiritual person. Maybe you don't realize that you are, but you are. And you can pray the prayer of faith over your family. I mean, God has given you great responsibility. And he has given us the ability to enter boldly, as it says in the book of Hebrews, into the realm of faith. And we can believe God. We can pray over our family. And we can say, God, I'm asking you to move from my family. It's amazing. Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.